Tonight, we take the next bold step in this movement for climate justice toward the fossil-free world we need. It is absolutely imperative and a life and death issue that we have got to transform our energy system away from fossil fuel to sustainable energy. If you're ready and you're ready to be a part of the climate resistance and to go fossil free fast, somebody make some noise! Three arms of this campaign that we're unveiling tonight. Number one, a fast, just transition to 100% renewable energy. Right. Number two, an end to new fossil fuel projects. Three, not one penny more flowing toward dirty energy. It's time to bring them together now. Someplace here we've got a map, a map of the 56 cities and six counties that have so far agreed to go 100% renewable. That's good. There are all the communities that have not yet agreed, okay? So our job, and there are tens of thousands of them, is to get them and fast. We have seen examples across the country where this can be done right. We've seen this in Atlanta, where there has been a community-wide engagement strategy and planning process to ensure that commitments to 100% clean energy will create jobs and reduce air pollution. My name is Jessica Lorena Rangel, and I am undocumented and unafraid. In the news, you saw families being evacuated from their homes with motorboats and kayaks, but the reality was much more different. We were hiding in attics out of fear for deportation. The more and more people are standing up to be water protectors too, to monitor our, endanger, our endangered waterways. And I would tell you that the Freetown St. James community, that they're standing tall, that the people in the basin are fighting back, that landowners all across Louisiana are raising their voices. If it's not renewable, owned by the people and for the people, we don't want it. If we make this succeed in Puerto Rico and other frontline communities, everybody is included in this success. We got our city to pass the nation's most comprehensive ban on new fossil fuel infrastructure. Communities are rising up, coming together, and communities are practicing Dr. Martin Luther King's vision of revolutionary love. In this uprising, in this principled resistance, in this practice of revolutionary love, lies our hope for a fossil-free future. As young people, we need to contest for power. And we need to get involved in the political system where fossil fuel executives are currently calling all of the shots. We do not any longer want politicians who believe in climate change. Right. That is too low a bar to do us a bit of good. Okay. We want leaders who will do something about it. Right. We want leaders ready to pass bold plans. What we are about is telling Donald Trump and the Koch brothers and all of these people that their days are numbered, fossil fuels days are numbered. We are gonna transform our energy system. <laughs>